The Footy Show is brought to you by Holden. Three men appeared in court today charged over a series of crimes relating to bad television. Paul Fatty Fortin accused. Peter Snorkeller Sterling accused. Paul the Chief Harrigan accused. The biggest televised trial this century. The highlights of seven years of the footy show. See the ugly side of television. Sterling doesn't look any different. It's Yoda from Star Wars. Seven years of the footy show. Trial and error. 9.30 Thursday on 9. All rise. Court in session under the Honourable Judge Gildy. This court tonight will decide the fate of three men who have irreparably damaged the 9.30 time slot on primetime television forever over the last seven years. Way back in the final series of 1994, you were given your chance at a crack at the big time. Who would have thought from those innocent beginnings that you would use your power and position to destroy every thread of television decency in the fabric of our society? <laughs> Hey, bro, hi ho, hi five. Yeah, nice. Cool. What's happening, Ned? Still reminiscing about that catch? Not that catch. I'm thinking about the hair I used to have. <laughs> hey, bro, don't get bummed out. What you need is those crazy dudes from Backwards Hair Studios with their revolutionary new strand by strand replacement method to sit you down in a chair, pump you full of plugs. You're a natural. It worked for me. It can work for you. <laughs> hey, bro, you're right. Yeah, yeah! Bill, we need binders. Bill, staple guns. Get onto it. <laughs> Bill, we need, we need some letterhead. Smelly old bugger. Bill, the new bloke needs a mouse. Hi, I'm the new guy. I need a mouse. Bill, there's a delivery out the back, mate. And a mouse pad. Oh. Hey, Bill. Do you want a coffee? Oh, Bill! Well, there isn't any. Bill, you can smell it from three floors away. It stinks. Ah, oh, Bill. Bill, Bill. 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 Bill, that electricity bill's been taken care of, hasn't it? Ah, shit. Over the next 90 minutes, we will parade before the court witnesses and actual footage that will support the prosecution. Footage like this, Mr. Vorton, that proves that you were never, ever right for a role as a television host. You wouldn't believe what I've just... Have a look at this. That's what I've... Been to been making, so you wouldn't barely can believe it. <laughs> the, there was disasters <laughs> happening in uh, New Guinea with a tidal wave and we started... <laughs> what? <laughs> well, he's going. No, he's going. There's your camera down there. This one. No, it's, and it's no, over here. Mate, you you'll find it. it. There's only two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's your show. <laughs> I got nothing. It's your show. <laughs> now, look, uh, Wayne, just on your own year, you uh, must be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I can't wait to hear this question. <laughs> Speaking of a famous name, Gaznia, we spoke to your uncle Reg earlier in the week and caught up with him and asked him about you. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Here's uh, something on tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Tony. Tony Chalmers. Come, Come in, Tony. <laughs> Tony Chalmers. Mate, the dog shop okay, mate. Thank you, Tony. It's the dog <laughs> shop opening. Yeah. Why am I talking to this? I don't got no idea. <laughs> well, if, we, if they get in trouble, Steve, they're going to go to you, all right? All right, mate. Okay, boys, you ready to go? <laughs> 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 okay. 
Well, if you're, you've got a very talented family. Sorry, I tell you, um, your father, your dad, of course, John, played in the grand final at 69, wasn't it? Paul. Who? Paul? Paul. John Paul John Cross. Paul. John, John Paul. Paul. John. It's named after the Pope, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Out here to promote the Sydney Goodwill Games, which are happening in August and September. The, the Sydney ones that are happening in Brisbane, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see, why do they write Sydney down here? Oh, I've got no idea. Now, when it spins around, when it spins around, <laughs> yeah, it's got live television, it's going beautifully. You get a flat bat and you just got to crack one little fatty doll. <laughs> Stop! Oh. <laughs> Which one was it? Yeah. We'll take a break and come back. Oh, what, what have we got now? Well, oh, sorry, we're not taking a break. Oh. We've got plenty more coming up right now. Uh, gee, this show hasn't changed. No, it's yeah. still the same. It's Objection. That's totally uncalled for. We've done plenty of things that have been fantastic, haven't we, fellas? What about Marcel Harrigan? He just did nothing. It's like on the football field. Fannigan, he's the biggest cat I've ever seen play football. What's going on, pal? Just saying what a great player he was. <laughs> Has anyone ever come up to you like this and, and try to use your head as a bowling ball and put their finger in the hole? <laughs> Peter, just you, you taking up private sponsorship of something, eh? I know you're getting a private sponsor. Just have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> the adductor muscle is actually the, the groin muscle. For those who don't, who don't know the particular muscles, obviously Fatty does, mm. but... Um... No, very well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite muscle. <laughs> It's a long, long way, and you mostly you swim uh, butterfly. No, not uh, the breaststroke. Breaststroke, butterfly, <laughs> and uh, the freestyle. You ever feel like breaking into a bit of butterfly? <laughs> you're playing your brother this weekend. Always a tough game. You regard him as your toughest opponent, but uh, he's just been cut from the Queensland side, so he's going to be extra determined to make sure he plays well. He's been cut, has he? Yeah. Who's looking now? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> you, you see a lot of um, rugby league players going over to Union. Well, actually, you don't see me. Willie Khan's been the only one, but you see the other side. Was it the six-pack hanging over his speedos? Or, or what exactly was it? Oh, it was that red, hairy chest, I think. The red, hairy yeah. chest. Oh. It wasn't the first time that you actually met Paul on the beach. No, I had met him once before. Yeah, let, let's just have a look at that meeting. <laughs> Absolutely disgraceful last oh, week. Great show last An week. Absolutely disgraceful. I think for the first time in the history of television, yeah. the Yanker, the main man... Right. Yeah, what? Farted on air. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. I well, don't remember it. OK, make your own mind up. You'll have to listen very carefully to this, but this is what happened last week. I think Parramatta, tremendous value, $2.55 there, except they haven't won that marathon since 1990. Right, let me tell you, it's been a very special week for our little friend Peter Snorkeller Sterling because his beautiful wife, Selena, gave birth to a baby girl last Tuesday, oh. Hannah Sterling. She weighed 7 pounds 12. Yeah. Peter Sterling! <laughs> oh, just picking her up now, and here she is. <laughs> Backseat of the FG. No, sorry. No, no. We, matter of fact, um, wife and I, we just made love. And uh, she just <laughs> said. Too much uh, information. She just said, I got to marry her. And I said, OK. You go to North Queensland and get flogged. Then you beat Auckland 54 0. How come such the big fluctuations in, in half a season? <laughs> I said fluctuations. No, no, I think it's fair. You Didn't you, I say fluctuations? You've taken some pressure off me, I know that. <laughs> Fantastic. Someone actually told me today that you've, you've recently had two penis operations. <laughs> no, no, let me finish. One to remove the one from your forehead. <laughs> and the other one to lengthen, you know where. Now, is that true? You're working beautifully tonight. <laughs> <mate. laughs> Get onto that uh, Fat Sack website because it's pretty empty at the moment, Fat Sack, <laughs> and uh, we need to fill it up very soon, all right? Uh, I've heard that it, it hasn't, they haven't been able to get it up on the, on the website. Uh, no, no, I mean that. I'm quite unaware of that. It, uh, it went down today and they got it, it up late. Really? 
Yeah. Well, that's let me true. Tell you, there's, there's nothing wrong with fat sack. Don't worry about it. <laughs> to all the boys out there, good luck to you. Thanks. Uh, thanks for watching the show. We appreciate all the support we get from all you in jail, and hope you get out soon, one way or the other. <laughs> and that's the photo they had to, to model, and that's what they've done. <laughs> that is what they've done to me. Unbelievable. Thank you very. Oh. <laughs> How are you, Maddie? Good, mate? Yeah. You're pretty excited to be here? Mm. You watch the footy show all the time? No. Excellent. <laughs> this is my segment, Yeah, I know, but before you start... I've got one word. You're an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's four. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Three, actually. <laughs> so low. He's watching on Empire's Hello, Robert that? and Josh and Ashley and Bradley. Sorry. She, she's been working hard, haven't no. you? <laughs> Happy birthday for Thanks. tomorrow. 41, thank you. Happy yeah. everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great cop. Oh, one of you best. Thanks very much for that. You were telling me that your, your penis has got hot. <laughs> He's just sitting here saying, my nose is hot and my penis is steaming. I mean, what's going well, on? I might have told you that. I didn't expect you to tell anybody. <laughs> now, Paul, you're to come straight home after work. Don't go to the pub. And can you get me some milk? I didn't have time today. And as D Smart would say, Lady Luck is on your side. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I will bring home some milk. I'll make sure it's full cream. <laughs> oh, don't worry. She'll be waiting up for me. She loves the fat. Why is she? <laughs> if you'd like to see what is coming up, all the details about it, you can get into that website as well, roadtrain.nrl.com. <laughs> Once you start talking about milk and going <laughs> home, <laughs> get order, order. After the break, more witnesses which hold the key to your future. More after this. I must have been mad. This is 12 kilos. I used to carry around this much extra weight every day. No wonder I was exhausted. Everything I did, everywhere I went, and I do it on extra way. And then I joined the new Jenny Craig. And then I met other people just like me. You remember, Fatty? You stick to balls and I'll stick to oranges. Anniversary. <laughs> it's exactly one year since I lost my fat to Jenny Crane. <laughs> so I thought we should celebrate. Darling, I've been celebrating for the last 12 months. Mm. No one's going to pop your cork for a long time, scrubber. Find your own bloody husband. All and turning young love. Thank <laughs> you. 
only thing as good as your ripe cherry is grabbing someone else's. Ray McRabbit's Warren, champion breeder, champion bloke, talks about his love for pal dog food and his dog Stuffy. Thanks to pal, my dog's an absolute champion. <laughs> just look at him. He used to just sit there and stare. He was lifeless and always seemed tired. But since I started him on pal, oh, the little champion's been unstoppable. It's a breakfast of champions. <laughs> That'll do, I feel it's come from Fair thing. Just, just one more take, please, Mr. Warren. Now, turn it up, Stuffy, for God's sake, ya! Top breeders recommend Pal to give your dog a bone. I now call the first witness to the stand, Mario Fennick. Hey, come on, that's not nice. Well, how good is this? You blokes have been giving it to me for years. And as the Falcon says, the wheel turns. And fat, you're no Eddie Maguire. Hello, I'm Eddie Quagmire. Who wants to be a millionaire? Mario Fennick of Lower Redfern, are you ready to play? Eddie, can I take a 50-50? No, you can't, you idiot. Hey, Eddie, Eddie, just call me Mother. Is that locked in? Is that locked? Is it locked up? You should be locked up, you crazy flea. Just ask me a question. First question, Muzza, to wipe out your phone sex bill. <laughs> Who said, I love yous all? I'll take 50-50, Edster. <laughs> Have you got any idea, you idiot? <laughs> I've got nothing. I'll go to the audience, Eddie. Mario's a wanker. On second thoughts, Ed, I'll brush the audience. I know the answer. It's Fennec. Are you sure? You sure? 900% positively positive. Totally locked in? I'm locked. All right, Mario. For a million dollars, the answer is... We'll find out after the break. Stop the break, Fennec. You've done me. Show me the money. Listen to the people, fellas. They don't like it. You've done some terrible things to me and others on that set of yours. Try move. Yeah, Get well, off the chair. Yeah. Get off the chair. Yeah. Oh, well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mate, the beauty of the What's Doing segment, it appeals, it goes across all communities. It, it appeals to the battler, the middle class, the higher class. It cuts across race, colour or creed, right? It's a, it's a segment, it's a, it's a se- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a oh. Before you start, but what's I'm... happening with your hair again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, that'll f***ing do me. It hasn't got a roof. Hasn't 30 got, seconds is up. Hasn't got, it hasn't got a moon roof. It hasn't got a what? It hasn't got a moon roof. 35 seconds is up. What's a moon roof? Well, uh, what do you got? Sunroof. <laughs> it has or it, has or it hasn't. It so hasn't. It, okay. Catch oh, up. Come on, boys. Okay, you, come on, quickly. Come on. There's nothing more I can yeah. tell you. Come on, Say wait. something, Rabbit. I've told you it's all I can tell you. It's a long night. Sterling, I can't eight, help you. Eight, and now, Leon, before you start... <laughs> this is... I like this guy. <laughs> I'll tell you this one. OK, 30 seconds from now. Oh, jeez. Turn in the bin. OK. Oh, have a real good feel. Jockey! He's a jockey, yes. Shane Dye. And it's Shane Dye! What if it bites him? What's going to happen? Oh! Let's do it, laps. Beauty. Uh, you had enough in? I think that's worth ten thousand dollars. Yeah.
marry you to be husband and wife, and yes. you may kiss the bride. <laughs> You look like G.I. Joe, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little man, aren't you? G.I. Joe. I'm his little man. You'll be still running before the night's out, son. I know where you still do, you're drilling. Still running. <laughs> King's Cross. Get into the honey. Get into the honey. Roll in fast. That's it. Honey everywhere. Roll around here. All over the body. Next witness I call is Leela Vorton, mother of Paul. My son Paul has been badly treated over the years. They've tried everything to hurt my little boy, but he's made of good stuff. Okay, this could All be. Right. Get this. Could be a music. This question. could be over. Multiple choice. <laughs> Having major problems with our Jeopardy this year and our fearless leader is struggling through these. Although he's handling situations <laughs> like this oh, extremely well. Don't step away because the ball has a nasty habit of following you, mate. Does it, right? But uh, yeah, this is a, you're not showing any confidence, so this is what the quicks would do to you. Oh. Let's just have a look, a look at a replay of, of that marvellous shot as he faced up the oh, curtly oh. end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got plenty of ticket, don't worry about that. Um, I'm going on. Ray Warren 
has only performed in one footy show video clip was his <laughs> no, not the watermelon. <laughs> the banana scared. <laughs> um, Am I ready? just supposed to keep still? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> the main focus, mate. Okay, mate. Try not to move. Okay. If you don't breathe, you'll die. <laughs> Queensland 87. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, help. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Chief should eat some chili. Yeah. Not even aware. Get that in no, here. Mate, I'm not no, even aware. no, you poof. Right. <laughs> eat the lot of it. No, oh, mate. All right. Move on. I feel Move better on. now. No problem. Okay, now Friday night, of course, uh, Bulldogs take on Parramatta. Yeah. Run through the Bulldogs card, Chief, for us. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, come on, Dan. Put it back up again, I'll talk. Oh. There it is. It's El Mazzari and Martin. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Oh. Thank you. 
make it here. I'd make it anywhere. I love my Newcastle. 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 The court now calls upon revered television presenter Ray Martin. Well, Your Honour, I don't want to whinge, but uh, it's about Peter Sterling. I mean, as a football player, he was obviously a genius. As an interviewer, well, he's a dope. He had this segment called uh, 60 Seconds with Sterlo, in which he tried to interview people. And on behalf of the Australian Journalists Association, um, we just think he's debased the profession. If you have a look at it yourself, um, well, it's just, it's just hopeless. What part of Germany are you from? Uh, from a small town close to Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf? Is that near Frankfurt? <laughs> no. Maybe near Hamburg. How do you keep the magic in the relationship? You try to see each other as much as possible. Well, I'm a bit of a magic man myself. Watch me pull a rabbit out of his hat. Wrong <laughs> hat. Pretty car, pretty car, pretty car. What about this? A demountable thumb. What's the secret to a successful marriage? Uh, great sex. The current movie, I like that too. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Um, you'll go blind. <laughs> Is there any one thing that you can't do without? Okay, we're going in a real direction here. I can feel it. You once won an MTV award as best kisser. Any right. tips on technique? Uh, just keep your mouth wet and moist. <laughs> what is it that you look for in a man? I look for a good heart, sense of humor, and loyalty. I don't care um, what race he is. I don't care what age he is. And I don't care what he looks like, except for I really, really like if he'd have red hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Linda Evangelista, thanks for spending 60 seconds with Sly. Shall we? <laughs> ah. oh. What about your worst habit? My worst habit? Um, talking without thinking. Much the same as yourself, Stella. Thanks, you know, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> big exactly. mouth, no brains. Jose Feliciano, thanks for spending 60 seconds with Sterling. Before you go, I do like to get autographs from people. Would you mind signing my autograph book? Just down here. Sure, Sterlo, I'd love to sign it for you. Yeah, thanks, Jose. In the book would have been nice, but I'll treasure it and never watch again. Because I've always fancied myself as a bit of a guitar whiz. Do you, do you mind if I have a play? You play? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Go ahead. Do I Lay play? one on me, bro. Oh, yeah. Well, just have a look just at this. Just be careful. It's this thing. I've had this guitar for probably 20 years now. Not a problem, because I heard yeah. what you're... Uh, it's a first... one of a kind, actually. If you look at it, you can see the wood's a little very special. So that bit I chipped over here is not... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I used to have such good hands, too. Do you have a favourite footy team? Uh, yep. Would you like to share who that is with us? Uh, no. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> they're only, I guess they're only my favourite because I bogged one of them once, but... You know. oh, I'd love to know who your favourite player is, then. <laughs> Number six. Number six, OK. <laughs> what I would like to do is to pass on a message from all of those people you've given cheek to over so many years. Oh, wow, a surprise. I love surprises. This Here is great. Ah! Jeff Harvey, thanks for spending 60 seconds with Sterlo. There's more. I've always enjoyed tickling the ivories, and I brought along my own instrument. It'd be a real honour if, if you'd play it for me and maybe yeah, I could just man. jam along with you let's, a little let's bit. Let's get it on. Yeah, let's get it on. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's fairly new, right? This is awesome. A couple of words, how would you describe your character, Ordell? Bad m <laughs> A lot of swearing in the movie. Do you swear as much in real life? Oh, don't. <laughs> On a plane for 20 hours, who would you least like to sit next to? 
John Denver. <laughs> Next in the witness box, Olympic 1500 metre freestyle gold medalist, Grant Hackett. I went into the footy show expecting them to take it easy on me, but they put me under bright lights, asked me plenty of hard questions, but hey, I wasn't the only one. What was Gertrude Adderley the first woman to do? <laughs> she swam in the bowl of swimming. Swim. Swim the... Backstroke? Through the English Channel, Channel yes, she swam. <laughs> The duck weighs 14 pounds on two legs. What does it weigh on one leg? Mitch? Seven. <laughs> How many Olympic rings are there? Five. Gavin? Five. And what colours are they? Shane? White. <laughs> uh, what sort of dogs does the Queen have? Oh. Chihuahuas. <laughs> Mario's head did the ball hit first. Mazza? Left side. The left side? Oh. No, it's the right side. <laughs> Spell Shih Tzu. Ryan. S-H-I-T-S-U-E. No. <laughs> Besides the circus, clowns are found in which sport? Kim. Football. <laughs> what is the sexy thing about Ryan? The buttocks. Yes, and Ryan? Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which famous movie star of the 50s real name was Doris Mary Anne von Kappelhoff? Right. Doris Day. How do you know that? Um, I saw it on Fantails. <laughs> Multiple choice on average. A pig's orgasm lasts. Oh, okay. I don't know. Two minutes, 30 minutes, or pigs never have orgasms. <laughs> I mean, fair dinkum. Who's responsible? For this? That. Yes? Mate, 30 minutes. Exactly right. How do you know that, Ryan? <laughs> Isaac Hayes is a special guest at this Sunday's Logies. Uh, he's known for the 70s hit song. It's a multiple choice. Is it A, I've been shafted, uh, B, shaft, or C, half a shaft? Ian? B, I've been shafted. <laughs> If I was at Augusta and I kissed a girl between the first and second hole, what sporting event would I be attending? <laughs> the better question is, how many people are playing the sport? <laughs> hey, is, that, is, that on or, is that on or off the ball washer? Well, <laughs> do we know what sport Next that day. is? Oh, yep. Well done. Who do the Dragons play this weekend? Yes? Brisbane at ANZ Stadium. Against? Brisbane at ANZ Stadium. That's right. Well done. <laughs> um, name two clubs in the current comp who have birds as mascots. Will? Uh, West Tigers, Northern Eagles. <laughs> Since when's a tiger a bird? I mean... <laughs> True or false? Singer, Cheryl Crow's two front teeth are false. True. Yes, it's true because they are false. <laughs> Who were the guest hosts from the panel of the footy show last Thursday night? Angela? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, you I not. can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> now, you can go to the phone, remember, you've got the phone. Terry Hill. Terry Hill and? <laughs> and? And who else? <laughs> He's been on the show tonight. And who? Brett Fiddler. Yes, good on you. So in jubilant scenes as your, as your man wins the grand final. However, the next day, pictures of him and a leggy blonde are all over the papers. How do you respond? Jeez, I hope that's your sister. If not, there's always room in the bed for three. Oh. We're desperately in need of both firecrackers and porno. What Canberra suburb would one head to? <laughs> what is it? Fish week. <laughs> Name two other current first grade players who have a colour as their surname. Johnny Blue. Um, what that? I'll uh, give Nathan you a clue. Black, Lock. <laughs> game of which year did Les Boyd break the jaw? David Middleton. 1983. 1983 is right. 
Game two. No, it's no. game one, you idiot. No. Yes. <laughs> On an ocean liner, halfway between New Zealand and Chile, at approximately 5.30 p.m. tomorrow, what would you have a good chance of seeing? Yes. Water. <laughs> After the break, more testimonies from people from the street and the players of this fine game. But first this. Son, you've got to dig deep. Think back. Remember when you were six and we took you to McDonald's for your birthday party? All the kids, all the fun, all for you, son. Remember that day, son? Remember when someone stole your fries and we never found out who? It was him. She's a pink lady, and she's got no clothes on, and she's leaning back on a really big pole. Yeah, she's standing there in the starkers, and she's got nothing on, and um, she's in the nude. And uh, she's really, really, really in the nude, with nothing on, and she's got a big pole. It's all right, Mum. I found another pink lady under Dad's bed. <laughs> My name is Karen. How can I help you? Can you tell me how much money I've got in my account, please? Hmm. May I have your name, please, sir? My name is John McQuinn. Yeah, John, John, whatever you like, big fella. You're from the cash. Your account comes to the grand total of $34.85. Do you want to use some of that, big fella? <laughs> Thank you. You're the biggest. You're the best. I want you back. addresses the issue of responsible parenting and you Mr Vaughton showed none of this the night your wife left you to look after the children
The court now calls current first grade player Terry Hill to speak on behalf of the first grade players. Thank you, Your Honour. Your Honour, the poor players, what hope have they got? They come on the show and try to be serious, but it's just no use. Uh, he had a uh, groin manipulation last week to... Uh... We were wondering what that was, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what is a groin manipulation? I think you just go under anesthetic and uh, eat about five people in there and tie it down and sort of go, you know, snap to the groin. <laughs> I, I don't know what it actually does. I think it uh, just gets more blood to the to the area to, to fix it. <laughs> you, you watch a uh, a video of uh, a lady giving birth, <laughs> and then uh, you just do these relaxation and massage and all this other stuff. Mate, they they teach you breathing too. Like you wouldn't have any problem with a snos like that. <laughs> We know number six won at Canterbury again because it's been retired, which is an enormous honour for Terry. Why have you chosen 42 to wear on your back? Um, just generally because it was the only number left. <laughs> this is just for the folks back home. Yes, uh, good day from Adelaide, uh, the city of churches, and hello. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Actually, uh, well, yeah, well done. <laughs> that, that magician, Fatty, it reminded me of a friend of mine who used to be a magician. I asked him one day, uh, can you pull a rabbit out of a hat? And he said, no, but I can pull a hat out of my ass. <laughs> Great evening after Tingies uh, when I played. I still woke up every Sunday morning with a tingle, uh, ready to play the game. <laughs> hey, right. Anything to say for yourself? I've You've got, got a nice you. ass. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think your bum's any good. It's got a crack in Where do we go from here? I've got no idea. Yeah, that's what I was saying today. The way he's kicking, you'd hate to be his dog. <laughs> Apart from the manly game we played against them, I think we've had a kick in the ass. Oh, should, should I say that? <laughs> we've had a kick in the ass. No, we'll cut it out later, Ralph. That'll okay, be okay. Mate. It's not live, is it? No, no, no. no, no. That's mate, as groins, you, you, you don't really know when, you, when you've done them. It's not until you, after Ooh. the game you cool down a little bit. <laughs> Certain groin injuries, you know, when you're done. But uh, yeah, it's not until you cool down in the, in the shower later on, you, uh, you know, you... <laughs> yeah, go on. But your groin's go on. Uh, so little you're in the shower and then... And you, you feel... You <laughs> and then what happened then? Now, Jason, just one last question. Uh, reading the papers during the summer, I was quite alarmed to actually read that the headline said, Jason Stevens gives up sex. Is that... What, what's doing? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um... <laughs> <laughs> No, that's right. I just since I've become a committed Christian, you know, I, I sort of understand why God wants people to wait, and yeah, you know, He actually wants to have a fulfilling sex life for, for His people. You know, He really loves them, and yeah. So I, I've made the choice to wait. It's still like not a rules thing or regulations thing, but uh, is it I just hard? Realize, I mean, yeah, it does get hard at times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so who's, who's your favourite player? Daryl Trendle. Fantastic. We've got Billy Moore coming out with a new single practice for you. Here he comes, Billy Moore! Yeah. Your brother Kerrod's wife was involved in an accident um, in Singapore. Any news on her? Yeah, it was in Thailand. At, Thailand. Uh, uh, Aren't they next to each other? I mean, it's something. Like that. <laughs> uh, Poo, Poo Ket, I think is the name of it. Yeah, she was actually pretty bad. She um, fractured her skull and broke her arm, broke her arm, she fell off the back of one of the taxi things around the mm -hmm. corner and fell on the road. And luckily there was a, a nurse who was there uh, there with her and, and she uh, resuscitated her, so otherwise it might have been a lot worse. So, Actually, I'm sure she's watching in Phuket, Maureen, so I hope you're <laughs> feeling better, don't? Oh, yeah, and my grandma, we had a bad weekend too, just while I'm rolling there. Uh, my grandmother uh, fell over and fractured her pelvis, so grandma's right. in hospital in Ipswich, so I hope you're feeling better too, Gran. Yeah. How's your cat, your budgie, everything else all right? <laughs> Every now and then you see something on a footy field that you're probably not supposed to see. Now at half time last night, the boys came out after half time, we just got a bit of footage of Kevy Walters. He's just standing there. Just keep an eye on Kevy. Oh, what's doing? Here he goes, watch it. Mushka. Just, just lets one, just lets one rip. And uh, Kev got the, out of the system and had a big game as well. Go on you, Kevy. What's doing? Just to take us through what's happening here, Craig. Um, just... Greasing me down, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, he could almost make a man turn, but I'm not going oh, to do that. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> you hurt your hand? 
<laughs> Ian's out this weekend. He just burnt his arm. Thanks very much to those pyrotechnic guys. He's just got a singed arm. Terrific. You're actually getting married at the end of the year, is that right? Yeah, I'm getting married in uh, December to Olivia. Yeah, at, uh, met her when I moved up here five years ago and uh, very happy with her and looking to settle down with her. <laughs> it's been a great move all around right. for you. Very happy. Good on you, mate. Like buying a car, isn't it? Pretty happy with the car. It's, it's good. Matthew growing up, what did you think had become of him? Where'd you, what avenue could you see him strolling down? Oh, I think Matthew could have been a comedian or a... Um... Transvestite. <laughs> He likes dressing up. He likes dressing up like that, yeah. We often caught him in other people's clothes, women or other people's... Uh, Nana's clothes. That's right, Nana's clothes. One night... Mum's night swimmers. <laughs> One night we were in bed and I woke up with a terrible fright. This thing was hanging over the top of me in a pink lamb slap suit with a big uh, bed around the neck and a bunch of glasses. And I said, don't be frightened, it's just me. I'm in Mina Ford's outfit. <laughs> so you birth at uh, 10 to 10? How did it all go, champ, all right? Yeah, sensational, mate. Um, a good experience and, yeah, well, they, um, they reckon it's, it's an experience you've got to, um, well, experience. You didn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I, read, I read Craig's book, actually. Of, uh, I read a lot of autobiographies and uh, what a lot of people would know is that you, you're one of the quickest people ever to get a black belt in karate. Can you tell us a bit about that? Because I'm a... I'll, I'll, I'll give you this up. MG said to me before, he said, mate, he's a legend. I've got to ask him something. I said... You know, he's the quickest bloke ever to get a black belt in karate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. Yeah, you can. Because <laughs> 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 I'm, oh, I'm a white belt. He's not wearing a belt now. Hey, Craig, uh, you, you, <laughs> you must get a lot of satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> you must get a lot of satisfaction, like, you invented the Predator boot. And now, to see so many people in so many different sports, particularly the Aussie Rules soccer to be wearing, it must be great satisfaction. Not as much as the black belt. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, actually, I've got to be, be up at 4 o'clock in the morning, heading up to Newcastle to do Andrew Johns. Yep. He's going to... Uh... <laughs> what to do, Andrew Johns? <laughs> yeah, it's going really well. Me and Tricky like playing with each other, and uh, I think Tricky... <laughs> <laughs> this is the hair regrowth. Um, Chell, uh, Sterl, we throw oh, the challenge out now. Put it on, on right on. now, please. Come on. Come on, we want to see. The signal food in it. I want to put. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this stuff is working. Remember, you took it on my lap? I'm telling you, it's on fire, this stuff. <laughs> 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 the boys have gone berserk. I'm telling you, you've got to get a bit of this on to you. I this mean, stuff works. That's just with one rub, one little rub. I mean, it works. You've got to get this bloke on the show. Yeah, we have. Get him on the show. Mate, he can do wonders for you. Mate, Colonel Sanders. Can, my concern is. That... <laughs> finger, finger looking good. My concern is I actually rubbed it up here and nothing's happened. But... Jason, you look like an out of work porno star. <laughs> and what about Vorton, Your Honour? He has no regard for our feelings. He is a cruel, cruel man. You know, I've been a fan of extra for a long, long time now. And not just because extra is sugar free. And there's another good reason. Extra has a taste that really, really lasts. Hey, Fatty, is this some sort of a G-up? Surely you can't be serious. <laughs> gee up. Sunshine Sally and the Silver Slip at 66 to 1. That was a gee up. 1670. If you're losing sleep after who should build your dream pool, wake up. Talk to Blue Haven Pool. That's right, still. This month's special sees Blue Haven throw in a car with every pool purchase. And we really will throw it in. And they're built stronger to last longer. And there's something in there for the kids as well. Oops. Or is that from the kids? Thank you, So start dreaming and talk to Blue Haven Pools. Turn off the light. So it's true what they say about elephants liking peanuts. Mm. 
our mobile showrooms are great, Dad. But son, some people just love our warehouse. Just look at our huge range, Dad. Oh, tell them about the cashback offer. Nylons, wool, mono. All of the best prices. The cashback, son. The cashback. Spend a thousand. That's four hundred back. Spend three thousand. That's six hundred back. Spend twelve thousand. Oh, f it, Rod. Son. There's no better laying down. Ah, take her away, son. I'll give him the best lay in town. Oh, <laughs> 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 hey, Dad. Look what I've got, Zero. Uh, 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 uh. This is your splat petite me arm in a tube. It is new. It is tray from a doubler. You can eat it on the bus, you can eat it running, you can eat it walking, you can eat it on the toilet, you can eat it when you're on the job. Formidable! <laughs> New tubes from your play pudding yum. It's French for mm yum. You can even eat it when you're hiding. <laughs> now you can eat it through a straw. You're a lovely grandson. James, you haven't seen Hannah's sample for Dr. Hargraves, have you? Next witness for the prosecution, champion country jockey, Alan Robinson. Well, where do I start, Your Honour? I was once a quiet little country jockey. But they've forced me to go out and be rude and upset everyone. I'm not like that. Really, I'm not. Are you watching the State of Origin, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Just your girlfriend. <laughs> Never had a dead rubber? I have no idea. <laughs> Don't know. Never had a dead rubber on the bedside table or anything? Me? No, I've never. Dead rubber? No, no. Brought a smile to your face, didn't it? <laughs> Where are you from? Norway. Nowhere? Norway. <laughs> about Fatty, surely you, you know, you must rate him. Well, I suppose I'd give him five out of thirteen. Five out of thirteen. Yeah, that's pretty good, Why? I just think they will. I know a few Canterbury players from Rose Hill, so. How well do you know them? Not that well. <laughs> It's good to see you. Oh, sensational. That tongue. Um, now listen, who's going to win? No. <laughs> yeah, you met my wife, have you? Yeah, no, it's good. Canberra. You like? Canberra, I'm picking. Why? I don't know. But Fatty, it wouldn't be the same without our fashions in the field. The manly flyer, Jack Earlsgood. Jack's got our winner, and we'll cross over to him now. Yeah, yep. come in, Jack. Yeah, another. Uh... <laughs> Tonight. There's that many well-dressed people here, we decided to go for a well-known look-alike. His name's Abraham. I don't know why, but... Uh... $50 winner from Lowe's receives a $50 voucher, George Bagana. How are you, George? Good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing about Ned getting beat tonight? Oh, oh yeah. No. It's always race loaded. Right you got disappointed? Give the crowd a big smile back there. It's not nothing to smile with. <laughs> Thank George. Thanks a lot, Fatty. George, what, what about your Barry Beef? What's happened there? Oh. <laughs> he's fatty said, what about your breath, George? <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you going to drink all that by yourself? What do you want one? No, I don't drink, but I'm saying, who's this for, buddy? Not none of you can be, I'm telling you. <laughs> what? I'm 78 now, mate. 78? <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> comes in. He hits it. Oh, it's going to go a bit left. It's going to go a bit left. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Daryl, you there, Daryl? Daryl, come in. Use your strength, Daryl. Use your weight. Use your weight. Come on. I've got a secret, boys. The fat has been to Bathurst a couple of years ago. Hello, little buddy. You reckon you look like my wife? Well, that's what I've been told. You'll be playing the part of wife after the show. <laughs> have you tampered with your own balls? Uh, yes, when I was young. Yeah, have you had anyone else tamper with your balls? Uh, a couple of girls. Have you tampered with anyone else's balls? Uh, not really. <laughs> no, I've seen them. <laughs> in, the, See? in the army. Stop! Stop! Don't go any further! Stop! <laughs> We're going home and out of the interview on the footage show, eh? Hey, mate, what's going on here? You think Freddie's been good for the Blues? Hmm? You think Freddie's been good for the Blues? Why? What's going on? I can't see what's going on. Do you think we can win the third, the decider? No. no. You leave me alone. Do you think we should bring back Stella? Yes. Could you put it away before I break in it? <laughs> How's that, mate? Hey, hey, you kiss my ass, eh? <laughs> I can speak English. You're going all right at the moment. You got that sentence out. <laughs> but you don't. You like the fat? Of course I do. Oh, don't you all? <laughs> <laughs> you think um, spa, big sparkles? Oh, you just touched me on the penis, eh? Sorry. Do you think? Um, do you think? Turn around, up. Yeah, but hey. Get out of my way. Hey. Hey. I just want to talk. Hey. We go around and go and knock your hat off. Do you remember this man? No, I'm not. Do you remember him? I'm not interested. But do you remember him? I say, yeah, I'm not interested. Well, hey, Shao wouldn't go out of the way. <laughs> you know this bloke? Oh, me, hey. Leave me alone. You know this bloke? Mate, hey. leave me alone. Hey, 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 yeah, but do you know him? Don't bother me, right? Look at this. I don't need this garbage. <laughs> you fat. See, that's not the real me. Honest, it's not. It's okay, young man. I can see what the show has done to you. Now, more evidence has come to hand which is not going to help your cause. Roll the tape, please. I notice you've got a few bits of your body pierced. Yeah. Is it, we've heard on this show that you've actually got the flutcher pierced. Is that right? Yeah. The what? The Morton. <laughs> <laughs> is, it a, is it a big ring or a little one? <laughs> I think so. I've, I've actually got one too. I've got a cowbell around the <laughs> for the footy show champion. Hey, hey, Hello, hey, mate, the footy hey, show. Yeah, the footy show, all right. Hey, now, tell you what, mate, this thing, you must be excited. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Well, what fun. about you? Do all your own stunts, you mad bastard? Yeah, about 90, 95% of them. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's doing big business in America, so you must be excited. Yeah, it's doing well. What it's about doing... the footy show? You're an Aussie now. You yeah, must love the footy yeah, show. Everyone loves the footy show, right? Yeah. You live for it. <laughs> As a young young fellow, I've watched all your movies. I mean, I, one 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 that comes to mind. Um, oh, I, I've forgotten it. He doesn't come to mind. Now you're probably looking at me thinking this place got nothing, but I was actually. A... <laughs> and actually, you'd be pretty good judges. Uh, but in my, no, in my playing day, I was actually a speed machine. <laughs> No, Paul, you're, a, you're, you're, a red speed, flash. you're a speed bump. Um, but I found that you've really got to move your arms, haven't you, when you're... <laughs> like, yeah. you know, a, lot of, a lot of the kids probably concentrate on their leg power, but it's upper body as well. Moving the arms helps, yes, that yeah. does. Are you guys really dress, dressing women's clothes? No, no, I don't, clothing? mate. I won't dress in women's clothes. You won't? No, but Fatty and Sue, I do. But I won't, mate, because I'm... You know, it's not, being a European man, it's not my style, mate. <laughs> I won't put high heels on. I understand. They work on me, though. I did, I did. They work on me, though. <laughs> I did it once, but never again. Mate, really enjoyed the movie too, mate. Excellent. Thank but, uh, you for this. Take that home with you, mate. There it is there. Up to the camera. Hi. Hey. Red from Boyd. Come good, see? Looks just like him, doesn't it? Okay. I've got a little present for your young brother. Oh, well, I, know, I, know, I know your father no, might want a granola no, jumper, no, but you'll have some fun with that. I think no. it's non toxic, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, happy. You think it's a pretty well, I reckon you should wear boxers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
So how does that work? Because I'm a little bit big in the legs. But, yeah, uh, I know. Well, that's not. <laughs> well, I've done some great interviews, but it's a pleasure to do you. Sorry, sorry. But look, um, rugby league. That's had a lot of drug problems lately, uh, but I mean, you know, w with with drugs in the sport, but obviously not for you. You made a lot of money out of speed a couple of years ago. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope you didn't have to write. No, I, I, I wanted to check with I you. I did, did, I did on the speed. Yes, speed, speed is good. How are you, Sylvester? How are you, mate? What do you think about the footy show, rugby league in Australia? <laughs> oh, I know you guys are big and tough. You should rule the world. What, what do you think about the fat man? I don't know. I'm too much about him. Sylvester Stallone. Yo, Adrian, I did it! Do you think Betty Border can come back from the, the origin loss in the first game? Do I think what? Betty Borden, Queensland State of Origin team, can come back from their first loss against Queensland. Well, if, well, if they really believe in themselves, absolutely they can. They've got to dig a little deeper. I don't know what you're talking about, but, but it makes sense. Jane Claude, John, how are you? From the football show, are you enjoying Sydney? I love it. Mate, what do you think of the footy show and rugby league? Great, tough people. All right. Yeah. Do you like the fat man? The what? The fat man. The what? Paul Borton, the fat man. Do you like him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big uh, WWF fan, and uh, I watch it every Tuesday night um, on, on Fox, and I've uh, noticed you, you've, you're out here with the troop, the animal and uh, the hawk. Mm. They, were in, they used to be pretty big in WCW about, you know, five, ten years ago. They still got the style. You still, you kick their butt, or? I don't even really understand what he's saying. <laughs> When we return, the verdict. Do you want one, mate? Oh, yeah. Tomato. Heinz. Big red. Big red tomatoes. Mm. Not like yours, Granddad. <laughs> don't you worry. They'll be big red tomatoes one day. I don't think so. Why not? Because only Heinz grow big red tomatoes, Granddad. Is that right? Yeah, that's why the soup tastes so good. You're quite a little horticulturist, aren't you? There's no need to swear, Granddad. I'm just a kid. Swearing? I'll show you swearing. You two good neck to your <laughs> Nothing. And look at your nose. You're kidding, you nevels. Yeah. Yeah. See you, mate. Fill the cracks up here like this. Oh. Hang on a sec. Hello. No, no, we're doing it now. Jack and I. He's a real little trooper. No, no, no. It'll be fine. It'll be done by the time you get home. Using Selly's No More Cracks squeeze pack is as easy as... No! Selly's No More Cracks. If it sells, it works. The evidence shown tonight is without question damning. Before I pass sentence, do you have anything to say for yourselves? No. Then I am left with no option. You are guilty of all charges. I sentence you to one more year of hard labour, or as hard as you three can work, starting next Thursday at 9.30 p.m., live from South Studios. Yes, Yay, we're back. you beauty, on your girlie. See you next week, 9.30. Take them away.